Okay. Oh, so the recording is out, so I think we can get started. Yeah. So take your seat. And um, for this session, you will need a laptop, since this is a session about how to like, run code back on your laptop. Yeah, so here is the note, the real URL for the note, bit.ly slash uh, run callbacks. So uh, you will need this because uh, it, it will be a lengthy process that will be yeah, crazy for to, to, to run callbacks. Yeah. So uh, why you, uh, why this a conference exists is that because um, during the workshop at Friday, um, Barcelona has just like um, suggest me that we can open a session to teach people how to actually run, actually run Tovex, uh, to build up Tovex and to run Tovex locally. Because um, we have been like uh, promoting such, promoting such um, product to a lot of places and we have been always saying that, oh, we are open source, so everybody can just clone our code and start editing or start running their own code backs. But uh, we haven't had a session, a, a, a serious session about how to actually get the code running. So uh, I, I thought that it should be simple, as simple as like Docker, Docker compose up, and bam, bam everything, everything is running. But I found that there are lots of rooms of improvement to get our code running. So uh, actually I've spent some time to clear things up and ca have come up with uh, this readme about how to about how to how to run code backs. And I believe that the, the result, the end result will be like this. So let's just take a look, take a short look. Um, after this session, hopefully you'll have a, uh, first of all, a running identity search server on your laptop, and a running API server on your laptop, and the actual working website uh, that actually does things. Yeah, at your laptop, local hosts. And actually we have some microservices like we do um, like this microservice, it can resolve URLs, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go through that later. later. And hope, and, and lastly, uh, which is the most difficult part, hopefully we could get a running chatbot server. You just print the, the, the version. So, so let me demo how this chatbot works via this. So, um, well, you will need a line, line account today as well. So, <laughs> if you don't have line account, then it's a good chance for you to, to, to register one. So, um, the demo is like this. Like, this is a um, information that is spread across line network. And actually, it's real because it happens for, I think, I thought it was February this year in 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 in, in, in Istanbul. One and and yeah, actually the story was that the escalator is broken and the workers have put stop signs at the escalator, but at the entrance of the escalator, but the the passengers just didn't see it and walking on the escalator and stuff. And there are some some accidents. And so, so here is how it works. Like you can, you can actually post message, and then, and then he, he will, he will talk to, 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 to like, uh, to ask where, why do you think it is a rumor, and just does the response things, and everything is oh, so so the microphone was was not on, <laughs> and everything is wrong on um, localhost. So you can just see like hey here is a here is the the URL. There, there are some requests coming through from the line server and uh, and asking our chatbot to reply. And lastly, here is uh, the actual log of the line server and the website and etc. 
Okay, so let's get back to our notes and let's get started to this very geeky session. So I hope that everyone is like has already opened up this bitly slash uh, run profess and it will be the documents for today. And if there is like if you if you find that there is any missing piece that or or, or if you are stuck at any of the step, then just let me know. Then I will improve the doc because the doc is just created like four hours ago. Okay, so first of all, some prerequisites. Uh, um, to, to, to run Cofat in your laptop, you'll need Git, and you'll need Node.js for running the database migration code, and you'll need Docker and Docker Compose. So uh, here are the installation instructions. Uh, if you happen to not having these things built, then you can just click on this URL to 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 to, to download uh, Git or Node.js or Docker onto your laptop. Then let's first go through some steps so that have your and, and make your make your laptop becoming really easy, and we'll then take a look at our structure uh, as your computer busy downloading things. So let's first go through the first steps. Um, for Colfax, we have a, to, to run Colfax, you just need to clone two repositories. The first one is rumors deploy, and the second is rumors DB. The rumors deploy contains um, the most essential file here, the Docker Compose.yml, but actually we have two Copies of Docker Compose YML. One is um, one is for 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 today's workshop, Docker Compose sample YML, and the other is production one because like um, actually uh, we 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 love to provide the actual running Docker Compose YML to to make you have a feel that hey you can just like modify the, this Docker Compose YML to, to, to your need. Yeah. So uh, today we'll be focusing on Docker Compose .sample YML, and to do this, to, in order to make our process smoother later on, because we will do a lot of Docker Compose up, Docker Compose down, um, it is recommended that you just copy this Docker Compose YML to Docker Compose uh, to Docker Compose sample YML to Docker Compose YML, and we have put this file name into git ignore, so you can just like copy it and fiddle it around, and it won't affect. It, it, it won't make your like uh, you won't make you won't make your workspace dirty. And the second repository is Colfax Rumors DB, and this is just for database migrations. And so it, it will it, it contains some it, it mainly contains the index of our uh, index mappings of our Elasticsearch database. And um, there are and, and there are some migration scripts will be running that later. So after you have just like an uh, inspect you have just cloned the repository and you can like start um, with the Docker Compose part. And the first of all, I found which is very handy is that we can just we can we can first open another terminal to put the log on. So you can just have a log like this, a a a a, a, a screen a, a separate terminal screen dedicated for printing all the logs and. It will be handy, so here are the commands, Docker Compose slash app. And start the database. And this is the first part that will get a little bit time because like uh, it takes for about 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds for a Elasticsearch database to boot. So so you will just like run this command and take a look at the terminal that contains log to see that if the log stops popping. And this is the first milestone that after you have um, started this Elasticsearch database, you should be seeing that um, 
you should be seeing that your database adds a local host 622 port. So maybe I'll just put a milestone here. So after this, you will just like need to initialize the database, and so 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 you need to go to the rumors DB repository you have just cloned, and run npm install, and and you have to specify which uh, which the, the the URL to the Elasticsearch search you have just created, which is the Google six two two two. So six two 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 two. Okay. So you will need to like change the EMV file. Like um, actually, we are using EMV files throughout um, all Colfax repositories to do configurations. And for the um, for rumors BB because it is not in the Docker Compose uh, script since it is a one-off script. It's not a service. It's just a one-off script. So you, you will be need to you will need to uh, we will need to configure it separately. For the rest of all the services, you won't need to edit uh, this .env because um, it will be handled in Docker Compose. Why now? Yeah, so after you like just edit it this and you can just run Docker npm run schema. This will create all the it, this will initialize our database with um, indexes, which is actually uh, it, it, it is like database tables in Elasticsearch, and it will initialize mappings, which is essentially the schema of Elasticsearch database. And to then after this, you will get a totally blank repository. Uh, sorry, you will get a totally blank uh, Elasticsearch database. So, and so the next command to run is npm run c to populate some. I think it was two documents here. So after you run npm run c, you should see some. Uh, you, you will see you will see the result later. Yeah. So after the database is on, then you can just spin up all these services, and it will take some time because like they will it will it will it will download quite a lot of Docker images from the Docker cloud. So especially for this URL resolver because the URL resolver has puppeteer inside. So you will download a copy of headless Chrome inside your laptop, and that will take about seven, I think it's seven hundred and megabytes. So so you 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 like make sure your computer is busy. Uh, that will definitely like uh, take some time. Okay, so uh, since we are at a wait, uh, well at a at a step at a step that will take some time, then. I'm happy to like take questions here if there is any if you are stuck at any of the steps or if all any of the steps is not clear here. Is it